Hello, it's me, Music One I See. So this is gonna be part two of my Lego set here. Creative Green Bricks, 11007. And yeah, we're gonna be building this guy. So, so yeah, this is literally day two. Just yesterday, I posted the video of building the helicopter. And these are really fun. This only cost me $5. And they're really quick to make, really simple. And, um, and yeah, so uh, let's get started. So I realized that I didn't go through each of the pages here because I just wanted to get straight to it. This is kind of just like a timeline of Legos. Wow, look at this. This was really the first Lego, this duck right here. That's crazy. And then in 1955, 1958... Oh, this is really well cool and figuring out how exactly well it doesn't really explain really too well on how to piece it together but if you don't look at like all the lines and stuff you can see you know the connectors fit into those spaces right here on the sides so it looks like it wouldn't fit but it actually does and that's why you know you know a lot of people sometimes they like to learn by actually doing something because when you see the, the Legos um, and like you're playing with them then you kind of understand you can understand this uh, graph here a lot clearer or this picture here a lot uh, better <clears throat> um, okay so this is 1964 oh this is really cool There really looks really different from like, you know, a train set that you would get nowadays, right? With all the stickers and stuff. 1998 basics. <laughs> so, okay, and then always, you see, <laughs> in the other video I was explaining how I don't like to dump out the bags, like how this gentleman here is doing. <laughs> um, this Lego guy is just like, dumping all the pieces out on the table and I don't recommend that especially if you're doing Legos on your own and you're you know younger maybe this is your first time you know they might spread everywhere you're gonna lose pieces and stuff it's not gonna be um, a jolly old time because you're gonna probably you might not be able to finish it if you lose certain pieces so I don't suggest doing this um, it doesn't work out for me you can definitely try it and see how it goes but I didn't I didn't really like it so this piece actually <laughs> fell out of the bag um, yesterday but it was on the table I just left everything as it was um, pretty much so so yeah just trust me I mean you're gonna try you're gonna see how it turns out for you but for me this is the best method leaving them in the ba in the bag or like transferring them into a ziploc bag is um, a cool a, a good option too and then here's a scan code on the front Cool for I guess more info. Oh, you can actually get the instructions if you leave if you lose the instructions, you can get them online with the scan code on the box. Is there one on the box? Okay, no, I don't see it, but I'm sure you could find it on on the front cover. Oh, the cover of this. <laughs> And you could put it on your tablet. But I'm sure, you know, if they have it in the, you know, like this, then you can definitely probably find it online too in case you lose yours. Okay, so yeah, that's something that I wanted to go over because, um, you know, it's uh, important. I, I really wanted to explain that because I know, like, you know, sometimes some instructions, some steps, you can, you know, alter them and, you know, I'll, make them fit into your lifestyle and what you like so so yeah that's what I recommend okay so we're gonna make this guy here and as you see this is in this little bubble here they're showing you the piece that you're gonna need and how many of that piece you're gonna need then this is just um, this is gonna be the model so we're building the model this is the first step and this is what you're gonna end up with when you get that piece <laughs> and it's step one okay so let's go here 
I was also saying in my other video that a good tip, because I know maybe you guys are watching this and you're like, man, I wish I could take out my Lego set, you know, but oh man, I don't want to start, I don't want to start it because it's going to take such a long time, you know, but really all you need is like 10 minutes a day. That's all you need. 10 minutes a day for a whole week or however long you ne is necessary. And eventually you will build your Lego set and, you know, that's all you need. So get it, get it, get your Lego set and... <laughs> and um build it all you need is 10 minutes so yeah i told you guys i already did the helicopter in the other video so yeah let me put this in here okay and okay so we got the first piece and now let's move over i actually did that trick before with some other lego sets and it actually worked for me and i was able to complete a lot of Lego sets that I had for like a couple of years. Okay, so this is the next piece that we need and it says one, this is one X and that just means that it, you just need one. If you see two X here, then you'll just need two. Three X, you'll need three, so. So yeah, just going over the basics, right? And okay, so we're gonna, Look in the bag for... Okay, I think I see it. Yes, I saw it. Alright, let's take it out. I think I'm actually... <laughs> I'm also going to do like a nail video because... Like an update on <laughs> what has happened to my nails since then. So yeah, my my um YouTube channel is very versatile. Like I, I just want it to be about me, all my interests, all the things I love. Um, besides music, I mean, it mainly is for my music. <laughs> That's why I started the whole channel. But, um, you know, I wanted to, you know, one thing about getting fans is that they have to get to know you. So I think this is a great way for them to get to know me besides hearing my music, you know. So we're looking at the model here and it'll sh it will show you where you need to place the piece um, that they instructed you to get. And yeah, so that's what that's what it looks like and I think we're right so let's move on now we have here a 2x and that's the Lego piece that we're gonna need and that's and here is where we're gonna need to place them so let's go and find that piece so that's why like I think it's really important like let's say you're younger and you're finding it a little hard to complete this don't be discouraged or maybe you're even younger than that and you're finding it hard to uh, build stuff with even like the creative blocks uh, that they have you know so you know you can go backwards you can even play with the baby Lego sets don't feel um, you know age restricted you know what I mean just have fun and you know do whatever it is that you like because I know that the baby sets are actually really fun too they're just bigger and it doesn't make you you know baby that doesn't make you any less smart or anything you know just have fun do whatever you love okay so now we need one piece this Lego here and we see when we go closer because <laughs> from far it was like what but then when you zoom in and you really examine it, you can see where it's gonna be placed. And you can always like go back to the picture and then see the difference. If it's hard to spot, what is the difference here? And then you can see, you see this part right here is different from this part and this picture, but then you can see where it's placed. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, we got it. I think this is it. Yep, and then we're going to place it right here. Okay, now we're going to move on. We see the other two pieces we need and where they need to go. And, and yeah, so the good thing about, like, the baby box is they really um, teach you how to uh, place the Legos. You know, it gives you, like, a standard understanding of how to fit the pieces together um, but then as when you move into these models 
for the, like the one we're doing now, it kind of, they like it's it changes. It's not really it gets more c complex. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get pieces like this that don't really look like you know a piece that you're used to. So that can really throw you off and discourage you from playing with Lego. So, you know, it just takes some time. It, it's all just like one simple concept, you see? There's a way to fit them, definitely, and you just have to figure it out how to do that. So, in this case, it's a square in there. It looks hollow, and then, you know, you know that it has to fit over the connector, the way that the picture shows. And then you just find a way to fit it, kind of like a puzzle piece. So yeah, I think my other video was kind of better in explaining that. Because there's so many different Legos, Lego pieces that fit differently. And then you just, you know, so don't, don't be discouraged. Don't feel, you know, bad. Just know that there's a way to do it and you just have to work it out. Okay, so we need one of a piece that looks like this, and we got it. Okay, so now we just have to figure out where to put it, and it looks like it's right here. You see, so like if you don't examine the picture, you might put it towards the back. So, but you have to examine it and see that there's like a little room in the back. Like there is here. See? Okay, so now you can, we're gonna move on. And yeah, also angling the pic, angling the model to look like the picture can also help you to see where it needs to be. I said that in my other, the one of the original videos. There, there was another. There's like I got the blue set of this, this classic creative block. I got the blue set, and it came with the whale, a robot, and something else. So, so yeah, that's like one of the first videos I did with the Legos. All right, let's see. Okay, so we need Ron step seven. Okay, I see it. I see it already. Okay, so we're going to examine the picture here. And it's showing us just in a different way. You see this arrow? There's no arrows here. It just showed you what the, you know, where to put it in a different way. So these arrows are showing you in a different way. So don't get throw off. Don't, you know, be confused. And then when we turn the page on step eight, we're gonna see the next step. So yeah, like, you know, why? Why why did you change the, the instructions? <laughs> you know, you change the symbol and it, you know, it gets confusing. Why do you do that, right? <laughs> because there's a big difference. Like, you know, this, how this looks compared to this, right? This one's showing you the final product after you place the piece and this one isn't. Right? It's showing you before this, you know, it's showing you this and it's like, but why, right? <laughs> so, you know, you just have to, you know, try to just um, remember that, you know, there's more than one ways to think, right? Some instructions might not be so clear, so you have to use your other skills to figure it out, you know? But yeah, you're right. It shouldn't be like that. Well, <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> okay, so now we need two pieces that look like this here. Okay, so that's a weird shape. So yeah, like, you know, like I was saying, the shapes and everything can really throw you off. But you just have to remember there's a way to do it. You have to be patient with yourself and understanding that you're doing something new or that it's something different and you know you'll eventually figure it out because I know like through my experience with Legos even I have been thrown off like 
how does this go here? Like, how does that make any sense? <laughs> so you just have to keep trying and you figure it out. So I see it coming together, this guy. <laughs> He's looking, right now he looks like a robot. <laughs> but it's all coming together. Okay, so now we have the other pieces we need and we have the arrows here again, but don't worry, remember, it's just showing you the direction of where to put it. Why? I don't know. Just to get your, your mind going, I guess. Just to get you thinking and problem solving kind of thing. But yeah. So... We're gonna get the pieces out. So yeah, like my whole point in doing this is because I remember when I was a kid and going through that experience, it kind of really left me, um, in, uh, discouraged and I, I didn't play with them for a long time so I don't want anybody to feel like that you know and I want to inspire even the adults to get out there and play and get Legos of their own so a weird thing just happened to me so I was placing this on and then all of a sudden I forgot about this one <laughs> while I was talking so I think it's a good tip to look at the pieces that you have remember how many you have and then you know, so that way you don't move on without placing one piece. Because that actually helped me to realize that I forgot I forgot about it. But yeah, so, um, you know, don't be discouraged. Though, you know, just, just know that there's a lot of other kids, a lot of other people going through whatever it is you're going through when it comes to your Lego, Lego journey. Okay, so these are the pieces we need right here. And then these are going to be the steps. They're showing you how to, you know, what to make with these pieces. And then as we move on, it's going to oh show you where to put them onto the, onto the guy, onto the model. All right, so the, we're at step 10. This is going to be it. This is it. And I'm recording, it's only been 20 minutes, and I'm talking and doing, like, I said a lot of other things, and I paused a lot, so, um, you know, if you were trying to do a Lego set of your own, feeling like you don't have the time to do it, I just, you know, proved it. It would take a lot less time than what it took me to make this video, you know? So yeah, you can do it just 10 minutes a day. And here's another one. Okay, so I looked at the piece, right? And it doesn't really look brown. Like when you look at it at first glance, it kind of looks blue, especially on the camera. But so another thing that you want to keep in mind is to look at the shape. Don't just look at the color. Don't let the color only be the thing that guides you. You have to also look at the shape and, you know, to tell more or less what it is and also you have to that you have the picture there too but you know that's happened to me too before even like making lego pieces with friends and stuff where am i okay i got that i got that okay now i need this white this um i need one piece of this guy right there okay i got it and then two eyes Okay, so we got all the pieces and now we're gonna show, they're gonna show us how to put them. Okay. So. So yeah. <laughs> and it's at a different angle you know so you also just play with the angles and um 
My pimpin' can be like, what is that? No, it's definitely his face. I know that one. Okay, so then <laughs> we're gonna put it right here. That's the only option, right, that we have to fit into the Legos. Okay, yay! I finished my little doggy hair. I never had a dog of my own. Um, so yeah, that's a little thing about me <laughs> that I'm sharing with you. Um, yay! Okay, so he's definitely sitting on grass right here. And his nose is real long. Let's look at the box. His nose does not look that long on the cover. And you know what it is? It's just the angle. <laughs> It's the angle, you see? Now I'm holding him like this, his nose looks short. You know, it's a real long. His nose is real long. Like Pinocchio long. <laughs> and yeah. I my I didn't actually I didn't tell you guys this, but in December I have I received <laughs> something real special. Um my nephew was born. So, I have a new nephew besides my niece, Nala, um, that I tell you guys about all the time. Now I have a new baby nephew, and yeah, so, I didn't tell you guys that, so, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I don't know why it came into my mind, but, um, darn, I, I know I had, I went, had a point in mentioning him, but I forgot. Um... Man, oh well, well that's something new. Um, oh yeah, the Pinocchio thing. I bought him a Pinocchio DVD so he can listen to it and watch it, you know, as he's laying down all day. <laughs> and so um, that's what it reminded me of. I just wanted to mention it. Um, okay, so that's it for the video. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, okay? <laughs> His name is uh, Zachariah, that's his name. And it's so funny because I have another nephew, but he's older, he's a lot older, he's just turned 19. His name is Zachary, so I have two Zs. I call him Z, that's his name, Baby Z, that's his. That's the name I call him. <laughs> and um, I showed him the little helicopter too yesterday. Okay, okay, I'm just like talking, talking, I just wanna keep doing these videos. <laughs> okay, so. Stay tuned, watch my other videos, listen to my music. Hopefully I explain this Lego set um, for you guys. And uh, bye!